Hi, my brothers and sisters in the Lord. I, uh, I'm excited and uh, it's a little bit late at night tonight, but I wanted to get this video out. I was just um, reflecting on some of the things that I've been going through and wanted to just, you know, share my heart on a couple things. Um, I think the one thing I wanted to talk about is um, a concept that I used to be under that I, I'm not anymore. Um, but I was, I, I used to hear this and I'm sure you've heard it if you've been in the church at all, you know, about you know, fill, filling up and pouring out, getting filled up and pour out. And I used to be in the, under that philosophy, but the problem was that when I went to the Lord, um, to be with him, instead of going to be with him, to be with him, I was going to be with him so I could get filled up so I could go pour out. And so it became about, I wasn't coming to be with the Lord, I was actually coming to get something. Uh, and yes, I was gonna give it out to love people, but it's like after a while, you're just trying to get, like there's a, a shallowness, uh, there's something wrong with that uh, theology in, in my opinion, because um, I wanna go to the Lord and spend time with them because he's the Lord and he's awesome and that's that's what I want that's that's my joy right so um, anyways what I love um, that I've learned over the last while just uh, you know that it doesn't really matter you know on days where I've had a great time with the Lord versus if I've been busy and I had and maybe a few days have gone by and I haven't really had my personal time with the Lord I can still walk out to any a uh, guy with crutches or whatever in the street, I can pray for him and he's going to get healed. And so, it, it, because that's based on my faith. And uh, yes, I guess if I spend time with the Lord, my faith does grow some. Yeah, there's a little bit of that going on. But um, but I, it's, I know that um, through faith, that when I pray for people, they're getting healed. And because I know that, it gives me the luxury that when I go to the Lord to spend time with them, I'm not going to spend time so that I can get something. I'm going to spend time so I can be with them. And that's so freeing for me anyway, that uh, you know it's so important. And the other thing I wanna say is, um, you can get caught up in ministry so much and it's all about the miracles and bringing people to Jesus and salvation and baptisms and repentance and all that so awesome. Not, not gonna say that's not great, that is great. But you also have to have that relationship with Jesus where you have those times it's just you and him and um, and it's good to have sometimes when you're driving and that kind of thing but it's also good to make make the Lord a priority and give him time that it's just you and him and some people have asked me about carpet time and stuff that I mentioned in previous videos that's just my tradition that I like to get really humble before the Lord. So I just lay on the carpet and that's my time with him. So you want that, you want to have that relationship. You want to just be with him because he's him, because he's God. And, um, and, and also you want to be free that you're not just trying to fill up so that you can get power so you can give out on the streets. Um, I've discovered, uh, for me anyway, that, uh, you know, I have the entire Holy Spirit in me. I have Jesus in me. I don't have like a little piece of him. Uh, I have all of him, like Jesus is with me. And so when I pray for people, people get healed because of the truth of the gospel. And I have faith that my Lord is with me and will do the things uh, and will back me up as I'm praying. And, and that's what makes the miracles happen. And, um, and so my time with the Lord is my time with the Lord. And, uh, and we need both. So do spend your time with the Lord and do go out on the street. Do both. And, uh, and that's awesome. Be blessed, guys. Oh, and you got to, oh, this video. Okay, sorry about the video. So listen, the video, this, this, this lady in the video isn't too responsive. But watch, she gets healed in her back. But then when we shut the video off and start talking to her and we discover she's Muslim and all this stuff, it turns out that she's so excited about it. She says, hey, what about my hands? I was in an accident and I have carpal tunnel and they tingle and they hurt, pain level eight. Can you do those as well? And so we prayed and 
And of course, God healed her hands as well. And we're able to preach the gospel to her. And she actually says, check it out. She says, um, I believe that when I explained to her that you know, we don't serve three gods, we serve one. And that Jesus is the son of God, is, is part of the Godhead. And I explain it in terms that I hope she can understand. And I think she did. So uh, I'm excited. I can't wait. I hope I hear from her. Uh, anyway, enjoy the video. It's so awesome. And God bless. Go out there, do it, guys. Everybody can do it if you step out and do it. God bless. Hi, I'm Doug, and this is David. Hey. And we're here in Walmart having fun. And we're here with? Sapphira. Okay, and Sapphira, you have a pain in your back, you said? Yes. Okay, and how long have you had that pain? Um, probably about a year now. Wow, so that's really been bugging you. So what's the pain level? It just depends. Like right now, maybe about a six. About a six, so that, that's pretty bad. Yeah. Okay, so um, David's just going to point at your back. Okay. And, and just point, his, okay, and just say tendons, ligaments, and bones. Tendons, ligaments, and bones. Be healed. Be healed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Vertebrae, I command you to be healed. Vertebrae, I command you to be healed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 100%. 100%. Now. Now. All pain go. All pain go. Now. Now. There. Now. There's something. Okay. Do you feel anything happening in your back? Any sensation or anything? Just be really honest. You don't have to. I'm just curious if no, you do. I don't feel oh. I did before though, like a little. As yeah. we started to pray? Okay. That's God healing you. So now I want you to move around and check your pain level. Just be really honest with us. Okay. Okay. What? What's your pain level? I don't really feel any pain. You don't feel any pain? But you just said you had a pain level 6. What happened? Yeah, I don't feel any pain no more. So you're not just saying that for the I'm camera. I'm not just saying that. I don't even know y'all. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And that's something. So God just healed your back. Okay. And that's something. I might need your number to come back. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it, here's my card. I okay. live in Windsor. I'm across the river, but... You can call me anytime or connect with me. If you go in that channel, you see hundreds of people get healed, people taking their casts off, people uh, who can hear after we pray for them, all kinds of stuff. So, you know, check us out. It's real. And the message today is that Jesus loves you for real. And he's real. Okay. Hi, I'm Doug, and we're back. And I already forgot your name again. Sapphira. Sapphira. Is it Sapphira? Yeah. Sapphira. And Sapphira, yeah, now... I, we discovered as we were just talking to you mm -hmm. that uh, you're actually from a Muslim faith background, which is which is awesome. We respect that. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, you were healed from your back, and you're so excited about it. Now you want to get your hands healed. Is that right? Correct. Okay. And so what's wrong with your hands? Well, I was in a, a car accident um, about a year ago. Okay. And I um, developed carpal tunnel in both of my hands from that. Yep. And I have a tingling sensation that's ongoing and it's like very painful okay so how um so if you got healed right now how would you know the pain would be gone is that what it is yes so what's your pain level right now oh probably about like seven around so that's really bad yes, okay yes. so we're gonna pray for that and god's gonna heal you up okay. so just put your hands on top of her hands and just mm -hmm. say in the name of jesus in the name of jesus be healed be healed all pain go all pain go all tingling go all tingling go all damage from the accident, go in the name of Jesus. All damage from the accident, go in the name of Jesus. 100%. 100%. Now. Now. All pain, go. All pain, go. Now. Now. Now wait for a second. Now did you feel anything going on? I just, this is a curiosity again, it doesn't matter. No, I didn't feel anything. Okay, now I want you to take your hands and begin to move them. What's going on? Just be really honest with us. They feel a lot looser. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. And now check for the pain. Is there pain? No. So the pain just disappeared? Right. Isn't that cool? It is. Wow. That's the power of Jesus. That's, that's, so that's who he is. He's the healer. And, you know, like, I know you have a different belief, but I'm just telling you from our perspective... He's actually the Son of God. Now we're saying we're not saying I know Muslims say, Oh, you believe in three gods, but we don't. We actually believe in one God, but he has three different aspects to him. There's the Father, and then there's the the Son, which is Jesus, and then there's the Holy Spirit, who's the Spirit of God. 
So it's all just different aspects of the same gut. Yeah. So that so if you agree with that, then basically the only thing you need to do is get back to, or ask Jesus to forgive you of your sins and get baptized. And I don't care what the name you have, you have put to it, but and then you get filled with the Holy Spirit, and that's why we can do what we just did for you. That's the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, check those hands out again. Is it re- now? Tell the people this. Is it real? It does work. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Yeah.